Hello and welcome back to Up the Villa podcast. This is our predicted lineup for Aston Villa v Hibs in our final qualifier playoff game to get into the main event of the Europa Conference League. We're coming off the back of a brilliant 5 0 victory over Hibs in the first leg. So looking forward to seeing Villa in European action. I think it's been so long since. Villa fans got to see our side in Europe. We all believe that we are a European club. Our club is steeped in European history. And this feels like the starting block to getting back as a mainstay European Premier League football team. So really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward mostly just to that walk up to the stadium and just knowing that we're going to be sitting down watching a form of European football. I think that's one of the things that I'm going to look forward to doing the most, to be fair, um, because like I say, it's been too long and I want to see us in Europe. I want to see us playing against these European sides. I want to see different styles at Villa Park. I want to hear different fans at Villa Park. I want to, I just want to hear noise, you know, coming from away, an away end that's just completely different to the Premier League vibe and I think those European away fans really do bring a different type of atmosphere so I'm just looking forward to the whole different vibe and sort of to take yourself away from from Premier League action I think that's what I'm also really looking forward to doing and seeing different players that we don't really see week in week out seeing players that maybe have a really good game and they really catch the eye and it's a player that I've you've never heard of and you're just like, you know, that player's like really good. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that type of stuff, seeing it at Villa Park as well. So, we've got Hibs. We're currently 5-0 up and I expect a different type of Hibs to turn up to Villa Park. I think in the home leg, I think they... Well, I think their manager may have underestimated Aston Villa and the way that we play and how we go about things. And I think he may have just felt like if we go out and do our things okay and express ourselves and we we might be able to live with them and get a bit of joy and et cetera, et cetera. But there was a massive golfing class. And, and if you try and go toe to toe with Aston Villa and don't try and negate certain things in a game, then you are going to struggle. And I think it was tactic naivety from from their manager in the last game, albeit now that he's been sacked, he, they're sitting rock bottom of the SPL, which, you know, in a league that's not so competitive for a team that did qualify for the Europa Conference League last season to sit rock bottom in a not very competitive league, then you probably are going to get the sack after a couple of games because you don't want to be languishing down the bottom of there. Um, so, yeah, Lee Johnson has had the sack and I expect their caretaker manager will want this game to be competitive, I think would be the word I'd like to use. They know that if they go toe-to-toe with Villa, then there's going to be one winner. So I expect them to sit very, very defensive. I expect them to sit in a in a in a very, very low block, looking to make it a little bit more physical. I don't think they were that physical in the last game either, which you'd expect a side to do so at home, um, in a home leg of a European tie. And I just think it was probably too easy from from Aston Villa's point on their front. So I expect them to just sit in, defend, make it difficult, but I still feel like there's just going to be one winner in this game because we are far superior to Hibs. So that's where I think the game's going to be a little bit dif- different. I think they're going to be more defensive and not look to just play, try and play against us, basically. With that being said, that leads me on to the Villa lineup on, on what Villa do. And I think this is going to be a very, very difficult predicted lineup to sort of get right. Um, There are a few players that I would 
really like to sit out this game. But then we've still got to be competitive. We've still got to have certain players in certain areas of this game for us to be on that front foot, to have control, to have that territorial advantage, to be able to be expressive, to maybe allow some youngsters, some youth players to play in this game. We can't have 11 youngsters in this starting lineup because, for one, we don't have the control. We won't have the control. We still need to have some senior players in the side. It's not sort of like we 5 nil up, let's stick every every youngster we've got in this starting lineup because, you know, you've still got to show an ounce of respect to your opposition. So, with that being said, I still would like us and want us to be semi semi competitive with some first teamers in this lineup to allow some youngsters to actually flourish in this game and give the youngsters that play the sort of presence to allow them to express themselves so we can see the best of them as well so they're coming into this game with no pressure knowing that they've still got some really good players in and around them and that's what I would personally like to see so this would be my team for Hibs so sometimes I do it based on tactically so when I do the Premier League ones I basically pick the best 11 we could possibly go with to showcase how I think we could get the best out of those players tactically against the opposition. This one is more a bit about what I want to see. And there's a certain player who I really want to see in this game. And I think that this player would absolutely flourish at Villa Park under the lights in Europe. So let's go then, Villa fans. So in goal, I'm going to go with Robin Olsen. I do not want to see Martinez in this game. He had a knock in the last game. He came off against Hibs in the first leg. We don't need to, to put up Martinez in goal. His time in Europe will come. I think Olsen had a decent game against Burnley, but I think there's still signs of Areas of his game that I would like to see him still working on. So playing out from the back, etc. Commanding his area. So I think this is a good game for Olsen to play. My right back in this game is going to be Chambers. I think Chambers, every time Chambers plays, he always plays pretty well. And I think he does need to have some minutes. And I would like to see him in the... Right back role, I think he's a great squad player. I think he's got a lot to offer. He kind of was going to come on against Everton and then there was an injury, so he had to sit back down so he couldn't play. So for me, I am going to go with Chambers. My centre-back is going to be Konsa. I want to see some rotation in this back line. Ideally, I wouldn't want to play Konsa. I would want to give Konsa. Uh, Carlos a little bit of a break, uh, but I think Conza can come in and play this game. Carlos, I think he needs to sort of have a break now. He's played quite a few matches in a row, and we've, for me, I've loved seeing Carlos in the side. I think he's playing absolutely amazing, but we've still got to remember the injury that he had last season. We don't want to overload him too much at the start of the season, so I think Carlos would be rested for this game for me. And I think Concert can come in and add that sort of experience into the back line. At left back, I'm going to go with Revan. Revan was on the bench for the first leg against Hibs. And I think Luca Dean, again, could do with a bit of a rest. So I'm going to go with Revan, a young left back. I think we saw when he was on the tour in America that he likes to get forward. Quite athletic, tricky. Um, and I think he would be well suited for this game. It's a game where we can see what he's all about. He will have license. He will have freedom. He'll be able to express himself on that left-hand side. He'll be able to get forward. He'll be able to add deliveries into the box as well. So Ravan is one that I would like to see in that left-back role. Now, here's where I'm stuck between two players. I'm stuck between, can we 
in this game go with Josh Feeney? Or is it too much to play two youth players and youngsters on that left-hand side? Are they going to be challenged enough defensively? So, for me, in this area now, it's a toss-up between Pau and Josh Feeney. Do we go full youth on that left-hand side and see what Feeney's all about? He would have the experience of Conta next to him. He did play in the friendly against Warsaw. Do we go with Feeney or do we go with Pau Torres? It's a tough one. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in there, you know. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna go with Pau Torres. I'm going with Pau Torres. I think we still need to have some experience in that back line. And for me, when I put Feeney on that left hand side with Ravan. It, I think it was too much. So we'll go with we'll go with the back line of Chambers, Consat, Pau, and Ravan, and Olsen in goal. In the defensive double pivot, we are gonna go with we're gonna go with Yuri Tielemans. I think it's time for Yuri Tielemans to get a start um, in that sort of double pivot. I think he will be able to get his first sort of 90 at home at Villa Park, he, he'll absolutely boss this game. He will absolutely boss that midfield. And we are going to go with Dougie Louise. So we're going with a pretty strong central midfield too. I think this is going to enable a certain one player, two players to really express themselves further forward. Out wide, we are going to go with Bertrand Traore. We saw what he could do when he came on against Hibs and he, he nearly put their whole defence on their backsides. This is a game that I think he too can express himself. So we can see that ice cold killer instincts from Traore coming off that right hand side. We are going to go with John McGinn. McGinn gets a start again on that left-hand side. I would like to rest McGinn, but I think with injuries to Coutinho, Zaniolo can't play, Buendia, Ramsey, that area, we're, we're pretty light in, in that area at the minute. So, unfortunately, I think McGinn is going to have to play. But this team allows a certain someone to flourish. And it is Kellyman who's going to be getting a start in this box midfield number 10 support striker role. And I think he will be absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love watching Kellyman. His movement, his vision, his arriving late into the box. He's still bagging goals for the under 23s. He's playing so well for the under 23s. He made the bench against. Uh, Newcastle, and I just think in this game, in this area here, with the defensive shape of, and sort not defensive shape, but the class around him of Tielemans, Louise McGinn, picking up space, turning, driving at that Hibs defence, the link-up play, for me, we talk about giving kids a chance. We talk about giving them an opportunity. There's a couple of youngsters now in Ravant Kellyman who have got an opportunity now in this game to showcase what they're all about. And this is the time. This is their time to show us what they can do. You know, get in the, get in the manager's mind, like, with good performances and, and those little chances that you get take them because at this moment in time there's a majority of our youngsters aren't physically ready to start premier league games but the opportunities that they do get once they take those opportunities they're already in the thinking you know maybe in a group stage game against a team that's bottom that at home at villa park we can bring these players back in so it's all about seizing the opportunity. And for me, one of the most exciting players 
that I enjoy watching is Kellyman and I think he's fantastic and yeah, I think he's going to go far. So for me, Kellyman is starting at Villa Park under the lights in Europe and up top we are going with Duran. This is Duran's game. This is Duran's moment. This is Duran's start. We've been craved of a Duran start and this is the game for him to lead the line. Link up with Kellyman, Troy right bag some goals, show us what you're all about, you know, because we still really yet to see what he's all about. I'm, I'm still sort of not sure on what type of striker he is. Is he a striker that can sort of bully defenders? Is he one that sort of gets on sort of like the shoulder of the defenders? Does he come deep? Is he about retrieving the ball? You know, what's his striking like? What's his finishing like inside the 18-yard box? So I really want to see Duran. I think this team that I've picked has um, experience. It has, you know, a couple of youngsters in there. You know, when we're talking about youngsters, we haven't really got that many that are in and around the camp at the minute anyway. So I think we've got, not too many to choose from anyway. Could we go with maybe in this game, if you're going to change the back line a little bit, could you go with a Luca Dean and then maybe a Feeney? I mean, could it look something a little bit like that? That would look a little bit better with Feeney in there. So I'd be happy if it looked a little bit more like that as well. I really, really rate Feeney. Ball playing centre half. I think um, he's one of the bright sparks coming out of our youth team as well. So, actually, I quite like the look of that, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, if, if it's Ravan or Luke Dean, I'd want to see Power. If not, then I think something like this looks quite good. But I think that's got a good balance about it. Um, so, I think it's a strong lineup. I think that would do the job. Um, you know, I think Duran, Kellyman for me, if I had to pick. Two players I 100% want to see playing this game. It would be Durant and Kellyman. So, Villa fans, let me know your thoughts. What are the lineups that you're going to go with? Who do you want to see? Uh, who do you think needs to have a rest, etc.? Uh, maybe we could get a Tommy O'Reilly on the bench as well. I'd really like to see Tommy O'Reilly involved. So, yes, Villa fans, let me know your thoughts. We will be doing a fan cam after the game. If you do want to get involved in the fan cams, then just come along and just come on and have, have your say after the game. It's super chill, super relaxed. It's there for you to just say your thoughts straight after the game. So the more the merrier. I'm, I'm trying to grow the fan cams, but they can only grow if people turn up and come to them. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I can't force people to come on. So, you know, if, if you want to come on, if you want to get involved in the channel, if you... You know, maybe you're a young kid or a teenager and, and you want to get into media and you want to, you know, have a career in media, then maybe this could be a good little platform for you to, to get started. We've had so many people already, you know, involved in this channel that have wrote articles and now they're working in, in you know, journalism and stuff. So, you know, it is a good platform for you to get involved in so if you do want to then drop me a message come along up the villa <laughs>